This video is going to be about making an applique file in embroidery wear. And on my screen, I have a simple circle. So we're going to applique this circle. Um, you need to make your graphic that you have in there um, active, which it is right now because it's red. And there is a quick way to do this. You go up to Quick Menu, Automatic Satin. And you will find over here on the right hand of your screen, there is an applique step called Top Stitches Satin. And my uh, defaults are set at spacing of 3, 15, and 15. So in an applique step, that would be your fourth step. So you need to work backwards. Our next step would be a tack down. So you go to the clip bar over here on the right side. It says duplicate and make coarse satin. You click on it. You will notice I have a second screen, a second circle in my screen up here. That second circle is an automatic zigzag, and these are the settings. Um, now, I do not have that in my default setting. However, this tool right here automatically gives you a default setting. And then I want to make sure that I change my applique step to tack down. Now, my next step in an applique process would be a cutting line. So I go over here to at the toolbar and I say duplicate and it duplicates it up here in my graphic object bar. I want to go down to the applique step and turn this to cutting line and my cutting line I always do a double stitch. Okay so we're on step three. Now step four would be my placement. I go up to my edit bar again, my toolbar, and I press duplicate. And I make sure that I have a duplicate number four, which I do. But I want to make sure instead of on the applique step, I rename it to placement line. And I make my placement line single. Okay? So now I have four steps. However, um, they would stitch out in this um, process, and that's the wrong way. I do not want my satin first. I want to make sure that my placement line is first. So I would click on number four, my placement line, and I click on this red arrow, and I move it up to step number one. Then I find my tack down, which is step number four. Whoops, nope, I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, I want my cutting my cutting line, and it's double. I want that to be number two. So I move my red arrow up to space number two. And then the third step in the applique process is always your tack down. And I move that up one. And now I have placement, cutting line, tack down, and then number four is satin. And that's all there is to it, the four simple steps to an applique. And if I wanted to add another circle over here and make another applique line, I would do my satin first because I work, I work backwards. I do satin, tack down, cutting line, placement, and then I rearrange them. So I hope this uh, helps you. Thank you.